Good Friday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. It's cool here in Central Texas outside here. It's about 31. We got a little frost on the pumpkin so to speak. And anyway, what else? Uh, hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. It is 7.04 a.m. Right now in Burnett it's 34 and sunny. Today it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 71 and a low of 34. Perfect. Have a nice day. You too, thank you. <clears throat> that sound you hear is the fan. I've got the heat strip on and works fine. Y you may hear the fan running though. But anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 26. Tell us a joke. What do you call a shoe made out of a banana? A slipper. Well, how do you follow that, guys? How do you follow that? <clears throat> anyway, we got a lot. I mean, we got a lot of comments. I did. I did a video about uh, what? What did I call it? Oh, it happens every one thousand years. <clears throat> I got a lot of really rude comments on that. I mean, I don't know why people took offense, but they did. Do I care? No, not a bit. Uh, I see you eight one two. Uh, it says this is on comment called Bucky might be in someone's freezer right now hunting season. Yeah, it's hunting season here for sure No kidding. This is a big time here in this area that Lano County in Central Texas is the I don't know probably the uh, biggest deer hunting County in Texas or as far as number of hunters <clears throat> and that's right there. Uh, Robert Sparks still raining here in North Carolina and Charlotte. I hear the rain will stop this weekend. I sure hope so. My Adobe needs a good few hours to release some of this stored up energy. Now as for unplugging, <laughs> it never works anyway. <clears throat> David Bricky. Hello David. Miss Google just don't want to cooperate with you. That was yesterday. She's fine now. He says he has the Android Electra, Alexa. She's working just fine, and she don't come drunk. LOL. Have a good afternoon. You too, David. Thank you. Yosef Alabami left a long comment. I'll read a couple of sentences. Hi, Rusty. We like boondocking and cold camping. No insects, no people as well. Yeah, when you go where it's so miserable, nobody wants to be there. There's nobody there. <clears throat> Couldn't imagine trying to heat on a electric only we love our furnace takes the chill off quick yeah well you know different strokes for different folks Frank Scandalito are you and Miss Google arguing no it's all an illusion guys we're fine I wish I could remember the name of that place I was trying to find uh, you know the weather the temperature of <clears throat> hey Google what's the temperature in Zapata Texas the current temperature in Zapata is 35 What's the temperature in Brownsville, Texas? In Brownsville, it's currently 43. Thank you. Yeah, you got to go way south to get out of this. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. <clears throat> anyway, no, me and Miss Google aren't arguing. Good evening. Dertrixa says, good evening. Enjoy your day and greetings from Germany. Well, greetings from Texas, USA, Dertrixa. Mark left a thumbs up. Peggy Lynn says I could listen to you every day <clears throat> well I hope I'm glad somebody does uh, sunflower 555 USA Texas Peggy Lynn right out I listen every day well good for you guys I'm, I'm happy 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 <laughs> I mean you know some of these channels get millions of views every day I get my, my, if, if one of my videos gets 2,000 views I call that viral uh, der tricks are downsizing your own needs is the only way to save money all over the world. Your lifestyle is great. Rusty, greetings from Germany. And don't forget Prost, uh, 9 p.m., 51 degrees Fahrenheit, foggy in uh, where he is in Germany. <clears throat> Thank you, Der Tricks. Don't worry, I, I don't forget beer 30. Ever. PJ Bikerful, welcome to all new subs and Rusty's Rangers. Let's go for a drive with episode 351 with the honorable grandmaster, legendary, charismatic, <clears throat> world-renowned golfer drive time with the man the myth the legend the one the only your man 
golf man from Central Texas, knowing all wizard and the great storyteller, swiveling Sergeant Rambling Rusty. Thank you, PJ Biker Full. With that introduction, folks, I have nothing else to say. Uh, thank you again. Easy Money 539, great words of advice on downsizing. Thanks and thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, you know, if you want to if you want to cut your expenses, you can, but you're also going to change your lifestyle. That's it's that simple. <clears throat> There's not, nothing from nothing is nothing. So you got to do something. Jimmy James. All right, Jimmy James, what you got? Hey, Rusty, could you do a video comparing your experience between truck topper camping and Prius car camping, assuming the weather and temperature was perfect for you? Which do you think would work best for full timing in an urban environment? For full timing in an urban environment, if you're going to be stealth, uh, well, as far as comfort, I'd have to go with the, the truck camper, the, the topper on the camper, if the weather's nice and you, know, you didn't have any heating or cooling issues. If you need an AC, you're going to have to go with the Prius. You got more space with a truck camper too. You really do, because see, you got the cab area where you can put some stuff, and then you got the area where the truck camper is. So no, you got a lot of space in there. So you know, for, for comfort and convenience, I'd go with the truck topper over the Prius, since I've done both. BC Outdoorsman, the end game requires serious consideration. I like what Rusty is doing. Buy an inexpensive lot with services and put a trailer on it. That seems very long sustainable. It is. I've been doing this for, I've been here, I don't know, 15 plus years. <clears throat> no, when I first got here, you couldn't live any cheaper because the RV I had was paid for, the truck I had was paid for, I paid for the cash for the lots, and all I had was, a, I didn't even have electricity or water. So initially, my budget, my monthly budget was just my property taxes, about $18 a month. Okay, then I added electric, so that added $40 a month. And then I added water, that added $60 a month, so that's 100 for those two, and then septic. But the septic, when, once you get it in, it doesn't cost anything. <clears throat> yeah, I'd rather be fishing, says that area is not cheap anymore. He's right, the, lots of price, the lot prices have tripled, quadrupled since I've been here. That's a fact. C. Brown, good video, Rusty. It's great to be mobile. Back in, the, back in high school, I used to bus it to the dance now i hit the ufo with duffels in my hands yeah i hear you duffel bags got you carol carol van <clears throat> i'm downsizing bumper pull i can stand up in full bath and walk around bed something i can pull with my f-150 i chose I, I live close to port arthur and i'm tired of this place tired of hurricanes i love texas so i w won't be moving out just moving north of hurricane zone and hopefully not in the tornado zone go west uh, although they can pop up anywhere front murphy bed couch seems really cool nice vid good wisdom you know <clears throat> do what you got to do you know you, you're not stuck with it forever you can always change you know what i mean so good luck carol with your with your rv this is William w, w says excellent great video a little T08 Rusty you live in you live in a more conservative state where I live the gas is 355 a gallon Washington state Well actually it's uh, about $2.13 a gallon here and going down Little T08 says hey Rusty are you leasing your truck or buying I'm buying I, I'm not big on leases I did lease a Prius one time I don't think I'll do leases anymore because I don't want to worry about the miles. You know, you, you're kind of limited to miles and then you got to pay a penalty of 15 or 20 cents. Uh, my old lady's, my old lady's cooking show. Good video, Rusty. Thank you very much. Art dog. <clears throat> Downsizing. I love these kind of videos, Rusty. People being on the road part-time or full-time seems to be forever, forever increasing. Seems some seem to do mostly great, some have good and bad days, and then some really appear to struggle almost daily. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's, it's the individuals. You know, it's up to the individual. You know, there's no, uh, you know, and everybody wants to paint the whole world with the same brush. We are all totally different, and that's the hardest thing for people to understand. We see things from a different perspective, and uh, we, we don't think the same. Uh, you know, we, we view laws differently, we view religions differently, and, and people don't want, people can't deal with that. We want things predictable. 
And uh, you know, it, you got to be flexible to be happy. I got to tell you that, <clears throat> in my opinion. Patricia Patricia Reddick, lots of good food for thought. Rusty, lovely drive. Thank you. Uh, Rose Lady, hey Rusty, where did you get that shelf rack above your bananas? I got it at Lowe's Hardware. I'd love to get some of those shelf racks for my bathroom. Yeah, you can get them. Uh, go to Lowe's. They have a place where they got little storage stuff. Mike Brandenburg, Miss Google found out about the Me Too movement and is take, not taking orders from any man. Things never remain the same. <clears throat> I walk with two old women. Uh, one of them is uh, 72 and one of them is 70. I'm 73. I'm the oldest of the group whenever we run into each other. And I asked them yesterday, we were walking, and I said, why do women hate men? And they said, we don't hate them. We just don't trust them. So, you know, does that sum it up pretty well? And men don't trust women. So what does that say about the world? That's the way we are, guys. Sarah J., uh, these ads crack me up the opposite of what most of us want but thank God for the diehards in May oh there's a link there they pick thick ice uh, happy good video well thank you this is cats 29 rusty I love your sense of humor with miss Google hope a glitch it is it comes and goes it's it's the uh, primarily I think it's the internet link out here it's not very good Bruce Johnson good afternoon rusty Roy Clark just passed I guess that means died uh, yesterday when I was young will be played on the jukebox tonight. Well, that's good. I like him. He's a good, good, good singer. <clears throat> All those old guys are dying off. Dana Carey, thanks for the down-to-earth videos. Wishing you health and happiness. Yeah, that's, that's a good start right there. Uh, this is on the Falcon uh, RV I did. That's pretty sharp. Thanks for the tour. That was Dennis78382. Thank you. This is on the Falcon again, the RV. Avlis, Rusty78609. Here's a video that echoes your closing comments and references a book that do, does too. <clears throat> if you want to hear more or read more about Standing Guard at the Door of Your Mind, he's got a link to a YouTube, apparently, channel. Thank you, Avlisk. Tracy Phillips, a, a great review on the RV. Thank you. Fred Getchy, thumbs up on dumb, downsizing. Alicia Wells on comment call. Hi Rusty, I like your videos and all the information you give. I'm thinking about buying a new retro camper and would like to talk to you about camping. I never went in a camper by myself and want to know about campsites that, that aren't too expensive and safe for a single woman and her small dog. My email is Allie Wells, whatever, anyway, I won't give it all out. Uh, I love to hear suggestions. Thanks Alicia. Well, you know, what, you're, what I'd suggest you do is watch YouTube videos of people that are out there camping. You know, you can watch uh, Caravan Carolyn. She's female and single. And there's other single females that do YouTube videos. You'd be better off checking them out. And as far as finding, you know, sites that are safe and, and aren't expensive, you know, that, that good luck with that. So, but good luck to you, Alicia. Ms. Brown, thank you for the heads up, sir. Very good post. That's on the... I did something on a, I think it was a TV I did. I did. Uh, Dennis 78382, best 89 seconds of the last 1,000 years. That was the video on Amazing Facts. I got a lot of, people give me a lot of hard, hard, they gave me a hard time on that video. <clears throat> I, I thought it was cute. You know, you add your age to the uh, year, like I was born, you take your birth date, 1945, and add, hell, I can't even remember how it goes now and add your age and it'll come up to 2018 yeah the, yeah the year you were born and add your age and it'll come up to 2018 well I mean it, it's uh but you know that obviously that makes sense and I know the guy was pulling my leg when he did it but I thought it was a, a cute trick you know what I mean uh, I thought it was a, a cute way of uh uh, of uh, playing a prank or whatever anyway Edward Moraglia Rusty it seems you have more issues with Google since you moved it possibly it it, it it doesn't have it it doesn't have any it doesn't matter where it is Elizabeth a uh, it's a hard decision to make on downsizing I've been thinking about it for a year now and have come up with the idea to have some kind of home base plus a built-out cargo van for traveling it's a not it's nice to have the luxury of time when making these decisions it certainly is so take your time this is on the Falcon RV. Thanks, Rusty, from Snowy, New Jersey. That was DJNJ something 08830. Charlotte 
Herring, happy birthday to you and me on the amazing facts. <clears throat> Chance Armand, Rusty78609, you should sell your Casita for the RV you're looking at. No, I don't think so. Thank you anyway. This is Ralph Phillips. He says it actually happens every year. It does. I know that. You know that. And everybody else knows it. But I just thought it was cute. Uh, it says this riddle is... Now here's somebody that says TT Boy 2004 it says this riddle is good until 123118 and then it will work after your birthday next year. Uh, yeah, well, you see, if you, if you add your age to your birthday, it has to come up with the year you're living in now, okay? I mean, that, there's no trick to that, okay? I mean, it, I just thought it was a cute way to deliver a mathematical trick. <clears throat> and, and a lot of people took it seriously. William W. Hi, Rusty, do you, do you have any information on Thousand Trails? A uh, video would be great. No, I don't, have, I don't, I don't do Thousand Trails. And never have. Uh, Robert Powell, he says, <clears throat> Rusty, watching you drive around down there in Central Texas, looks like some of your roads aren't all that good of shape, or is it just the way it's looking on the video camera? Well, actually, Texas has great roads. I mean, it just so happens that the roads I travel on are little two-lane county roads that are maintained by the county, and some of them aren't very good. Uh, here we go, amazing facts. It says, Star White, OMG, it didn't work. I'm younger than ever, everyone. I'm 55 and I was born in 1962. So what happened? Well, you're wrong. That's what happened. You can't, it can't be. <clears throat> it says, uh, Star White says, anybody, anyone born after today would be 2017 until their birthday. Well, that's true. Uh, Bob Stroud, uh, it happens every year at my house. <laughs> Amazing facts. Uh, Wayne Maker, not mine, 1946, 71, uh, 2017, because my birthday is December 28, 1946. Well, you see, but the, you got to, you know, you know what it's doing, though, right? Uh, Carol Dodd, Rusty, do you see the lines in the sky? Those aren't con contrails. Well, what are they? Uh, PJ Biker, Phil, Phil left a link to the travel light, tra travel trailer. Andrew Rivera, that's a riot, Rusty. I'm snowed in at at an Indian restaurant in New York and everyone is cracking up. <coughs> Good, let them crack up. Speaking of New York, I got a friend going to New York on Sunday, be there for a week, and uh, apparently y'all are getting a little snow in that area. That'd be nice. But anyway, having said that, guys, let's wind this thing up. It's getting a little long here. Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? I don't know why she does that. She's got a good connection. She worked hard. See, it was, she, at first she worked fine. Now she's... In Butte right now, it's 40. It's 40 in Butte? God, it's warmer there than it is here. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. <clears throat> Maybe. Do da do da, camp town lady can't sing that song. Mm, da do da de. Which animal is the least trustworthy? Cheetahs. Not bad. Which animals? Which animals are the least trustworthy? Cheetah. <laughs> not too, not too bad. But anyway, guys, having said that, y'all enjoy your day. You got a good weekend coming up. I hope the weather's nice wherever you are. And uh, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use My the. Apologies, I don't understand. Use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. It does not cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. Help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and that and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is, sure. What else? Stretch, 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 swivel, swivel, swivel. You know, walk, uh, exercise your body once or twice a day if you can. Uh, you'll feel better. <clears throat> and what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside your head. And uh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. And you'll feel better, and everybody around you will. So anyway, guys, until next time, adios amigos.
拜拜。